Hey guys, what's going on? It's Michael Benefield. I just want to pop in real quick with a few wisdom words. And I know you guys are saying, I'm always in my vehicle. I'm always going somewhere. Yes, I am always going somewhere. Don't judge me. So sometimes when I'm out, I just have to get these wisdom nuggets out because they just drop on me. And if I don't say it, I'll end up forgetting. So either I have to write it down and make a video about it later. I just got to keep recording them in my vehicle. Today, I want to talk about how to have patience in the process. You know, oftentimes what we do when we're going through a specific season, no matter if we may be um, low on money or we may be searching for a new job or we may be going to get a new house or whatever it may be, we don't take enough time to really uh, practice and exercise the gift of patience. So what we tend to do is we'll get frustrated and so angry that we don't sit back and think about all the consequences and the things that may be related to the decision that we're about to make. And once we go and make this decision, we don't know if that's going to put our family in jeopardy. We don't know if that's going to put us in jeopardy. We don't know what that decision may lead to. We just know at the moment, this is how I feel. So we go with it. And one thing that we really need to learn is how not to be led by our emotions. You know, not to allow our emotions to be the head of our lives. You know, we need to trust the wisdom of God that he's given us to be able to make executive decisions by being patient and by thinking things through. And I can honestly say for me over the years, and I can be very transparent right here that I've had impatience. I mean, when it came down to me growing my beard, there's been a couple of times where I try to challenge myself to grow my beard out for a year. And when it didn't grow right, I felt like it didn't look right. So I go in the bathroom and cut it off. But you notice I said the key word, I said, I felt it didn't look right. It didn't mean that it didn't look right, but I felt it didn't. So I just go in there and cut it off and I come out the bathroom, bald face. My, my wife, she's like, what you, what you do that for? You know? And so that's just one thing that I can give you an example about that I did out of how I felt in the moment. You know, we all go through uh, ups and downs, trials and tribulations. But I think sometimes even in those moments, I think God is trying to teach us something. He's trying to show us something um, in those spots when we're really, really low and we have no other way. You know, um, we may be low on money. So we go out and try to figure out other ways of making money rather than sitting back and allowing the wisdom of God to flow through us because he might be trying to give you a million dollar idea to carry out. But due to the fact that you're so in a rush, that million dollar idea will never fall upon you because you have not sit back to really just listen and hear how he wants you to go about doing. It. And so once we get in a rush, we get in a rush and we just we're all over the place. We're scattered mind, you know, because, you know, when we get in those specific places and we don't have any patience, we get frustrated. We just want to get out of the season that we're in. But sometimes we have to learn why we're in the season. We have to learn why we are in the season also. Different nuggets will fall upon us, not just for us, but so we can help the next person out. Because we become so others can become. The Bible says that we don't really understand it at the moment. We don't really care to understand it. We don't want to hear it. We just want what we want. We don't think about consequences. We don't think about uh, what may happen behind it. Going into the 2020 year, if you don't do anything else, exercise patience yes i know it can be very frustrating trust me I'm, I'm a very impatient person and i can be very honest about that but i've learned patience over the years because i don't look at it as me just going through something just to be going through it but whatever i'm going through i can help somebody else hey you don't have to go through it like that i went through this let me show you how to do it that's how i coach that's how my coaching is effective because i'm able to teach people based off of my experience you know i'm not one of those people that that say well don't do as I do, but do as I say. No, I have to lead by example because people need to see an example in order to follow an example. You know, and if you're in a season right now, season of frustration, anger, or even if you're in a good season, you know, we all still have things that we're trying to accomplish. Even if we aren't going through anything, even in those specific moments, no matter what it is, just exercise the gift of patience. Allow yourself to have patience so you can be able to fully comprehend while you're in that season and why you are in that season and how God is trying to take you out of the season because clarity can only come to you when you are sitting back being patient. So that's all I have for now, family. So if we're not connected on Instagram, make sure you go over and connect with me on Instagram because when I'm not here, I'm always on Instagram doing some things. And when I'm not on Instagram, I have my email also in the description below so we can keep in contact. So until next time, remember that you were created to be more than average, but you were created to be dope. See you guys in the next one. Peace.